Hey guys, welcome back. This is Joseph Architect, and today we're going to be getting the underwater bridge, as you can see behind me, completed. And then we're also going to be getting ourselves a nice little stable set up. I hope you guys are ready. Well, I have been really busy, guys. I mean, I have been really busy. I do have quite a few levels. What is this going to get us? Just, man, that is so expensive for what it's given us. Fortune 1, we'll do some more efficiency. Um, the reason I'm not getting higher levels is just because I don't have all the bookshelves over here. But I have been hard at work with uh, quite a few things. I've AFK'd a little bit longer at our current uh, workstation over here, our current fishing AFK farm. And some people are saying they don't like this farm because it's so OP. And well, you know what? It's, it's Minecraft. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> so I've gathered a lot of stuff from this. So I did go ahead and uh, I have a little uh, setup down here. This I will change. Uh, I just have it set up down here like this. I've thrown away a lot of junk, but as you can see, Mending and Breaking 2, Luck of the Sea, all kinds of different things, lure. And what I had done is I actually combined a bow, and I have a special bow uh, up in this top chest. Um, and then we also ended up getting quite a bit more things. So this is that super bow that I was talking about. Uh, it's a really nice bow thus far. Um, and then we have a bunch of books of enchanting. These are the major ones right here that I have gotten so far, which is looting two, which is really nice. Uh, mending, efficiency four, and we have silk touch and efficiency four with sweeping edge. Um, so sweeping edge is going to be a waste on that one, but it's really nice to have silk touch and efficiency on this thing. And then we have mending and efficiency. So all of these books are really good right here, but this did take, I would say like eight hours. I, I left this running. Uh, while I was uh, t while I was sleeping during the day, so that way I would have uh, several stuff when I come back. And we have 17 Nautilus shells. So those Nautilus shells are going to come v uh, real handy. They're going to be a very useful thing later on. But as you can see, I've also been really busy on finishing up the rest of our walkway or our underwater bridge. I think it's probably the best thing to call it is the underwater bridge of chosen architect. Now we'll figure out a better name later on. We'll have this thing named, but. I did go ahead and get this little area done. And so what I have down here is just some beds so I can land and not hurt myself a lot whenever I land on those beds. Um, but I still have a lot to clear out. So I literally just finished placing all this stuff and I am uh, currently waiting uh, just to get all this cleared out. So yeah, I've been, I've been mining it out the best I can. And so I have a long ways to go guys. Uh, but I did get a few recommendations. You guys have been leaving a lot of useful comments down in the comment section below. And I really appreciate all the comments that I do get. And uh, like I said, I do read them all. Don't think I don't read the comments. Believe me, I do. YouTube provides a lovely app, uh, app for your phone that uh, I get a notification every time anyone comments on any video. So I'm always able to, uh, to either get back with you. If I don't get back with you on the comment, doesn't mean I didn't see it. So just remember that. Uh, but anyways, I did I did read through the comments. Very, very uh, good suggestions. So we were saying, make a bubble column. Make a bubble column down here. So use the new uh, bubble mechanic to pull and lower me down. I may do that. We might have to do that once we get some sticky pistons. I think I'd prefer to make an automated system for that with uh, sticky pistons to pull and swap the blocks uh, versus uh, just having it set up like it is. I would like to like swap the bubble column blocks. I think that would look a lot better. Now, water and redstone don't go very good together so that may be another thing but you know it's worth a, it's worth a try we'll we'll eventually get that set up but how's this looking guys how's this looking i did go ahead and also place uh planks on the other side as you can see the planks on the top there's also planks on the bottom and it actually makes it look uh, a lot rounder so it makes it look more of a round shape which i think is very fitting also well, with all the dirt that was up here i planted trees and uh, as I was AFKing, I allowed all those trees to grow, and so that was an awesome tree farm. Uh, I think that's going to be a, a big thing in uh, in this playthrough of this Let's Play, is figuring out how we're going to set up a tree farm, and how we're going to make efficient tree farms. Uh, I think even using hoppers and stuff like that to auto-collect all the saplings would be a great, uh, a great build, a great idea. And we could do that really soon, I think. Uh, like within the next few episodes, I think we should work on making a really efficient tree farm. Um, that's not going to be automated. Uh, we'll have to still mine it, but we can set that tree farm up and at least it'll collect our drops for us. So we don't have to babysit it so much. 
which is wonderful. I would I would love to do that. Uh, but yeah, we're working our way all the way back to the other side. I am adding torches on all sides just so we definitely don't get any mobs spawning in here. But look at the scenery. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Like, I love being able to look out through these windows. Uh, and we can look up here and tell if it's day or night. It's just, this has just turned out to be a really good build. And I really appreciate you guys uh, with all the compliments and, and uh, all the comments you guys have been given about it. So, uh, let's continue. I'm going to go ahead and finish up mining this. And then we're going to figure out something else to work on. So, plans for today. Plans for today. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and start working on getting some farm animals onto our island. Now, our farm, or our island itself, is pretty barren. Uh, and has, like, no room really for animals. So, we're going to need to figure out a way to get around that. And a good way is to probably build under here, like back in this area. And what we can do is, like, dig down. And I think there's, like, a, a cave down here from whenever we were working on this last time. I'm almost positive there is a cave down here. Um, and we could potentially find that cave and then use that cave to our advantage. I think we're going to worry about that, though, once we get animals onto our island. Um, and we got to keep them away from here. I think I might want to get a gate for that. Uh, but anyways, that is something that we're going to work on. To do that, we don't have any slime yet. I have not found any slime. So that is probably going to pose one of the issues. But... I think we can get around that. We can do one animal at a time, and we should be able to use good old-fashioned wheat. That's right, good old-fashioned wheat. Uh, now, we should have a bit of it here that's been uh, just accumulating over time. I do have more down in the uh, storage containers underneath our house. But yeah, we're going to worry about that. Let's go ahead and head out in any direction, really. There's going to be cows in any direction. We just need to find the cows and lead them into here. And plus chickens. I would love to get chickens as well. The two early game things that I really need is, uh, like I said, chickens and, and cows. Cows for the leather, chicken for the feathers. And the reason I say for the feathers is because I have that really nice bow. And if I can get flint and a pretty good amount of it, we can go ahead and use the chicken farm to actually make arrows early game. Because, you know, normally you end up just getting arrows from killing... Uh, skeletons, but we don't have a lot of mobs, you know, spawning around us. So that is going to pose another issue. Um, sheep is going to be our next big thing to get. And then, of course, to get a few pigs. Just to have them. We don't really need them, but it would be nice to have some pigs. There's a donkey, actually. Oh, I need to bring my saddles. Getting a horse on our base would actually be nice uh, to, to have as well. Um, so I think that, you know, on this side... It looks like mostly sheep. Yeah, it looks like mostly sheep. I don't know if we should just work on sheep for right now and get these over there. Why not? Let's 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 get you guys. Come on. Come on. Follow me. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just lead them. We're gonna do this for all the animal types. We're gonna just lead them to our, our to our boat. And the way the the mechanics work, I think it's been like this since. 1.10? It's been, since the boats have been around, I mean, this has been a feature um, where you can actually sit inside of the boat with your animal. All right, all right, he's not, he's not noticing me. Notice me. Come on, follow me. Oh, it's not wanting to follow me. I knew that was going to happen. Can I get you to follow me? All right, so I got your attention. You're like, you were teasing me. You weren't feeding me anything. You need to feed me some stuff. Otherwise, I'm not going to notice you. So, I did get the f I get him fed. Alright, come here. Uh, I'm going too far away and I... Notice me. Come on. There's no real good way of getting them to... Uh, to notice you either. Come on. There you go. We have just a little ways to go. Just a little ways. Our boat's right over there. I'm actually probably going to leave you here. Go get the boat and bring the boat over here. I think that'll be quicker than than me uh, trying to drag the sheep all the way over here. Alright, I'm coming for you, Mr. Sheep. And then we gotta come get your brother as well. Brother or sister. Probably better if it's your sister. 
<laughs> or probably better if it's just a friend, actually. Because we're going to be breeding these sheep. There we go. Alright, so... Now we can ride. And we should be good. With our sheep in the back. Look at that. Look at that Mr. Sheep there. Oh yeah. Having a time of his life. Heading, heading his way all the way over here. Man, that looks so good. Underwater there. We should probably try and plant... I don't know if you can plant kelp over here. I don't know if, if kelp is something you can plant. That's something I don't know yet. Oh, but man, this looks really good. I'm really proud of this. This build. We have plenty more builds, though, in the future. Alright, so sh now here's the hard part. I don't know how to get you out of the boat other than breaking the boat. Right? I'm guessing breaking the boat ultimately gets you out. There you go. And you can follow me. Come here, Mr. Sheep. Perfect. And, you know what? I have something for you. That we can probably go ahead and get done. I have so many name tags at this point. Oh, we have to anvil these. I, I totally forgot about that. Um, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> It's just my knowledge of name tags. I always do that with name tags. I always forget that I actually need them for something. I, I need to name them in an anvil before using them. Ugh. Such a bad habit. I should probably remember that next time. Alright, so we're gonna go grab the next couple of sheep, and then I hope I can find me some chickens. Alright, it's getting a bit dark, and these chickens are just in perfect time. Perfect time. Let's round them up. Round them up. I haven't found any, um, I haven't found any, like, uh, cow or anything like that. Cow is going to be something we definitely need because I, I want the leather. Um, but I also need these chickens as well. Chickens are going to be very helpful for me. Uh, especially when I'm going to be an archer. Or at least try to be. Normally, in Minecraft, it's something I never do, is make a ranged weapon. I don't know why. Ranged weapons are so good. Alright, please don't die on me in the water. I know certain mobs can die in the water. Come on. You can almost- you're almost there. Perfect. They've almost made it. And there's the other one. Let them catch up to me. Alright, I'm, I'm trying to avoid the mobs, because I, I already see them in the distance. And I know they're going to be spawning. Come on. Come on. Get you guys bred up. Maybe that'll get you guys to focus on me. Come on. Well, the baby chick will focus on me. Alright, I see some skeletons, so I, we already are faced with some bad guys already. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and lead these guys to the boat. And uh, see what we can get done. Oh boy. Skeleton, don't do me wrong here. Oh no, creeper. No, no, don't blow them up. Please don't. Alright. I've got to avoid the creepers. By all means. And these guys. Good, 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 good. I didn't take any damage from that. I'll take that gunpowder and the seeds. Alright, chicks. Let's go. Let's go. Let's hurry. Let's hustle. Got a long ways to go. Long ways to go. And our zombies are after us. Come on, guys, hurry! And our boat's over there. Oh, boy. Alright, so we got those. I'm gonna bring you guys down to the island, if you guys will pay attention to me with the seeds. You guys are not paying attention. Come on. Come down here. Come down here. Okay. Now I can take care of you. I'll go pick up my boat. Whew! I'm glad that the water mechanics at least are pretty fast. Like, you can actually swim pretty fast underwater, whereas, you know, normal, uh, before this 1.13, or the uh, aquatic update, you were not doing that. Alright, so we're gonna have that issue where... It's gonna be one at a time. 
I hear them. They're up there. Okay. Alright, I gotta get at least one of you on this boat. Can't have both of you. Only one. And it's gonna be you. You're the biggest. I'm sorry. You can't come. I know. It's super sad. I hope that one does not die. I hope we can get this one back. Alright, so I'll be, go be going back to uh, hopefully save that one. And I'll be right back, guys. So I was able to grab Mr. Chicken number two. Or chicken number two, I guess you should say. And is now tagging along. But we are covered in arrows. Because uh, as uh, the night was ending, <laughs> oh man, did the mobs attack us. So we had to fight. Fight quite a bit. Our, our uh, durability on our sword is slowly but surely dwindling. And uh, we need to make sure that all of our little lovely farm animals are safe and si sound over here. Oh, come on. You guys both had to get in the boat. And now you're both out. So, let's get all of our animals back on land. Because I don't want them dying. There we go. And you sheep, Mr. Sheep, come on. Come on, pay attention to me. Alright, we need to get this chicken over here. Bred with this chicken. Uh, we'll do that eventually. I don't think we can do that right now because we bred that one earlier. Um, but I need to figure out where they're all at. Okay, so they're all right here. And then I'm sure my other sheep are just everywhere else. Right? Yeah, they're all over the place over here. Okay. Good to know. So, with that being said... Last but not least, we need to get cows on our island. And that's going to take a little bit of work. But I think we can do it. We just have to... Uh, we just have to look. Do a little bit of searching. But we should be able to find some. Now, I am going to head off in another direction because it seems like all on the left-hand side, there's really nothing but sheep there. So maybe there's some cows over here. I don't know. I've yet to see any cows. Maybe I killed them all off within the first couple of uh, episodes. I don't know. Uh, but we I, I really hope we find some over here. Perfect. Right here is just the cows I was looking for. And hopefully I can drag multiples. Get multiple of them. Get all of them and their friends. Come on, guys. Notice me. And follow me. I need all of you guys. The more the merrier. Come on, even you. Even you. Come on. You got this. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. So, guys, follow me. We are going to make our way. Oh, come on. Yeah, these guys are going to take... These guys are going to be a little stubborn. I, I, I can already see that they're going to be pretty stubborn. But what we can do... We can make even more of them over here. And maybe then... They will follow me. At least the babies will follow me. Then we should get everyone's attention. Right? That should work. Alright, let's get you guys going. And we may lose one or, or two, but that's okay. Alright, so I'm going to give these all over to the other side, and we're going to throw them in our boat. And see how easy it's going to be to get these guys over to, to our island. Alright, so cow number one. Let's go ahead and get you out. Perfect. And I will get you back on land. So why don't you come back on land? Come on, I know you see it. There we go. So you're on land now. You should be good. Back for the rest of them. So I ended up grabbing one of the babies, which is perfect. There's another one left over there. I feel super sad for leaving them there, but... You know... Things have to happen in order for us to have the animals we need. Right? I think so. And we have several animals over here. So let's go ahead and get you off of the boat. And onto land. All right. By the way, this has been a very resilient boat. We've had this boat since the beginning. It has worked out perfectly. All right, so now that we have all of our basic animals, we don't really need pigs. There's no need for us to need pigs at the moment. Um, we have all the animals that really supply us with resources. Um, and we're going to need to figure out a place to put them. So I think I'm going to work on building a little stall or stable area underground here. And uh, we're going to get working on that right now. Looky there, we have animals already wanting to come and in, be inside their cages. As crazy as that may sound, 
Look at them. They're already piling in here. The cows, they're kind of curious, wondering what's going on. But this is basically going to be what it's going to look like. Um, so I am kind of trying to expand this out a little bit. Um, because from the looks of it, right here is going to be the stairs going up and out into the, the area. And then we're going to have a uh, trap. We're going to have these uh, gates here for each one of the each one of these guys. And we should have like some side of some sort of supporting beam, which I was thinking was going to be wood in each one of the corners. And right now we have three types of uh, passive mobs. So that is where I'm getting the uh, three here. And I just have to kind of clear out a few more rooms and make them a little presentable. You know, they don't have to be perfect and they don't have to be great looking, but I do want them to be, you know, sort of presentable, at least. And uh, this will be all of these mobs' rooms. Now, this right here, the, the, the roof is actually going to change. Um, on almost all of these, the room is going to be a little bit different than how it currently is set. Um, but... Whenever I was uh, whenever I was working on this, I ended up clearing out a bunch of holes. So I have to do a lot of terraforming on the outside to get this to even look remotely okay. Um, and then as you can see, we do have water sort of piling up right outside our window. So that's where all this dirt is going to come in handy in just fixing this area. Right? Like this. Perfect. And I can grab this. And these are actually source blocks, so I'm going to have to break the source blocks. And there we go. And then we can kind of decorate this, how this is going to look on the outside. Right? Perfect. So I was thinking of an idea, uh, maybe trying this. Like, on the walls here, we have the wood. Just like that. And then on here, we do fence, maybe? I don't know how well that's going to look, but I mean, it, it kind of is stable-ish. What we, ah, you know what? I bet regular fence might look better. I don't know. It's just, it's worth a shot. Let's, let's take a look and see what both of these look like, and then we'll have to decide on that. I mean, because really we're just, we're stabling off the sides. I don't know. Hmm. We may, we may just leave it be and not even have that there. You know what? We may end up going with wooden stairs. That might honestly be a, an even better option. This is not going to be fun. I knew that was going to break. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe trying some kind of wooden stair sort of thing going on here. And we can leave cobblestone there. I think that would be just fine. And that adds even more depth. Like, it, it'll feel like there's more room in here. Yeah, I think that'll look pretty good. I'm actually already already liking this idea. All right, so I have most of this done here. Uh, I do need to figure out where, I'm, where exactly I'm going to place a few blocks. But I went ahead and made some redstone lamps. And I think those will look really good underground. And so we're going to need another pickaxe to be able to do this. And let's see, we, we have this. I want to fix just a few of these little trouble areas that we have. There we go, that's fixed. Now I went ahead and placed uh, the floor kind of like this. I don't, I think this is actually a block here that is used in this area for something. I don't know exactly for what, but we're gonna try this. There we go, and that'll get us a lamp there. Same on this side, we'll just put a torch here. Put a lamp, and now we have light. And that should be plenty of light. Ow. <laughs> we just get hit by all this sand. Um, and it's gonna be the same on this one. We're gonna cover this stuff up though. So you guys will not be able to see that. Awesome. And same for this. Throw a torch. Lamp. That should light everything up. Alright, so on most of these animals, they are going to need a grass floor. So I'm going to convert this into grass. That way they have a nice little platform to eat off of. At least for the sheep, they need to eat the grass. Uh, the chickens, not so much. 
Chickens are actually going to have their own little area. Um, they'll be producing eggs, which is something that I want to actually catch when they do do make them, so that way we can possibly make cake later on and things like that. But let's go ahead and place the dirt down. Now, with this silk touch shovel that we got from a villager early on, I do have some leftover grass. And that will be nice because now we can actually... Let's get this mostly for the sheep. I want more pieces in here for the sheep. That way they don't eat it all and then no grass will reproduce. But there we go. And this should be enough room for all of these different animals to kind of have fun down here. Alright, so I'm going to clear off the rest of this because I'll be replacing it with something else. But guys, we've gotten all of the all the major animals today. Uh, so we're looking pretty good. Like, we have just about everything we need. Like, I don't think there's... I, I really don't know what else there is to worry about at this point. Uh, will this andesite work? I think it will. Should look good. I'm actually going to use logs here. Just kind of divide everything a little bit better. All right, now the only other thing we have left to do is to uh, get animals in here, really. That's the last step. And that should be the quickest. We have all of our animals in here now, which is super cool, which means we can now start breeding them. Oh yeah. We can get that good stuff going. Chickens. I know you I know you want the seeds. And there you go. Perfect. Well, these guys should be going fairly strong. Um I do want to go ahead and grab the egg. Pop out. Perfect. Um, and then we could, of course, just use these eggs temporarily to create more chickens. But, guys, we now have wool, infinite wool source, and we're going to have all kinds of leather very soon. Very, very soon. I'm super happy. This has actually turned out quite, quite, quite good. This has been a really good episode. I've got quite a bit done. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. You guys know what to do. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. I highly recommend doing so and also clicking that notification button. That way you guys can be notified whenever new videos do go live. Guys, I have had so much fun in this series so far. I hope you guys have as well. And don't forget to click that like button. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.